Hello everyone. Welcome to Code is Good. In this video, we'll discuss about Merge Sort algorithm. Merge Sort is a divide and conquer algorithm, which firstly divides the given input array into individual small single elemented array and then start sorting them and merging them back to the original array from where it, it was splitted. Merge sort has two phases. One is called splitting, another is called merging. Splitting is the one where it divides the input array into single elemented arrays. And merging is the one, the backtracking of the single elemented array into the, into the given input array. Splitting is done to prepare the algorithm to get the sorting done faster. Since we have only in, uh, sideways elements to be compared with each other, so we have less number of comparisons to be done. The splitting is done till a single element is created at the end of the iteration. The merge sort does the sorting and places it back to the uh, input array which was splitted in the beginning. Merge sort, its time complexity is big O of n log n which makes it better than other sorting algorithms like bubble sort, selection sort and insertion sort. Here the log is to the base 2 because in each of the iteration we divide the array into two parts. That is why this two is the part is, is the base of the log. Merge sort is not an in place algorithm. The reason is that when the merge phase happens, then the leaf elements of the array, they gets saved in a temporary array and this temporary array is put back into the given input array. So with the number of increase in number of elements in input array, the number of temp arrays, they increase. So that is where it's not an in-place algorithm. So if we do not have memory constraint for our application, then we can go ahead and use merge sort. Merge sort is a stable algorithm because when we do the merging, we check whether the element, suppose if we have two elements over here and we created one on the left and the other is at the right. So we check whether the element in the right array is greater than the element in the left array. So in this way, it preserves the relative ordering of the duplicate elements present in the given input array. Let's see an example and we'll see how merge sort works by split and merge phase. So firstly, when we are given an input array, we tend to have some variables to store some indexes. One is start, another is end. And this end is nothing but input dot length. That is the length of this array, which in this case is seven. Let's index it also, which is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Length is zero, which mink makes end to be seven. And start is zero. To split it into two equal halves, we need to have a mid element. Mid will be start plus end by two, which is zero plus seven by two, which will make it three. So 
elements from 0 to 2 will go into the left partition and elements from mid 3 to n n6 will go into the right partition which will make it look like something like this 25 35 and minus 20 over here then 10 60 1 and minus 40 in the other right partition and this is the left partition when we do the splitting we keep on splitting the left partition till a single element is left so we'll come back to the left and split it even further in this case the start will be zero end will be the size of this array is three three and the mid will come out to be one so one to end will go into the other and zero to one will be on the left partition which is 25 and over the right it will be having 35 and minus 20. then again we'll come back to the left and we see that only one item remains in the array so we come to the right side and split it even further here we have 35 and 20 so we'll split it into two halves which will make it 35 and 20. since it is split into two halves so we'll come back to the left we see that one item array is there then come back to the right we see that it is one item array so after the right we see that all the splitting is done so we'll trace back our path and come to the right partition of the given input array and we'll partition it in the same way that we did for the left one so this will come down to 10 60 and its right partition will be 1 and minus 40 we'll come back to the left as we just saw that we keep on splitting the left till single elemented array is found so we'll split it even further and we'll make it 10 and 60 here also it's 1 and minus 40 with this we are done with the splitting phase now we have to get back to the merge phase in merge phase we follow certain steps firstly we create a temp array of size enough to accommodate the items that are being compared to get sorted then we sort the elements and finally place it back place it on the input array the input array so we'll start it from the leaf elements which is like 35 and 20 and one very important point that we should be keeping in mind while doing the merging is that the merging starts from the elements which have a sibling in our case 25 does not have a sibling 35 has a sibling with 20 10 has a sibling with 60 1 has a sibling with minus 40 so we will firstly merge the 35 and minus 20 then 10 and 60 and then 1 and minus 40 so we we will firstly create the temp array to start with the merge phase so temp array of size equal to the sum of the left and right partition will be created here it was the left partition was of size 1 and the right was of size 1 so a temp array of size 2 was created and then we do the sorting sorting will be done like we will check whether the left index array is less than 
the right index array if so left value will be placed at the zeroth index of the 10th temp array in this case the scenario is opposite so we will place 21st and then 35 later the third third phase place it back on the input array so this array will be replaced by 20 and 35 also one benefit is that uh, i think i missed to say in the beginning that when we do the uh, divide phase of the uh, given input array then we do not split it into actual arrays we keep it logical that the input array that remains static but with the help of indices we divide this entire array into smaller fragments this helps us in saving even more space which uh, we saw that the merge phase that creates temporary arrays uh, to at that which increases the space complexity so coming back to our scenario where we had sorted 35 and 20 and placed it back on the back on the input array so at this stage the input array will look something like this 25 20 30 35 10 60 1 and minus 40 since we are done with the right side we'll come back to its previous uh, stage which is this one and sort it and before going there we had seen that we firstly sort and merge the items which are having their siblings so we we'll leave the 20 and 30, 35 over here and come back over here and sort and merge the 10 60 so this will remain as is as it was already sorted we'll come back over here 1 and minus 40 so in this one minus 40 and 1 will be there and then this array will be replaced by minus 40 and 1 at this stage we are done with the last leaf sorting and merging so we'll see the next table where we'll start with 25 and 20 and 35 so here we'll create an array of size 3 this size of array is 1 this size of array is 2 so 3 and then sort and place it over here so the first element will be 20 25 and 35 and then this will be placed it over here so this will be replaced with 20 25 and 35 at this stage the array will look uh, the input array will look like 20 25 35 10, 10 60 and 1 so since uh, the left partition is sorted we'll come back to the right one and we'll see and we'll sort it over here in this case we have two arrays on each of the sides so we'll have to create a size uh, draw it neatly over here we'll have to create a temp array of size 4 and then sort all these elements and place it back on here the uh, the first element will be minus 40 then 1 10 and then 60 so since this is done so this will again be put back over, over here in this case uh, the array the entire array will look like 20 25 35 minus 40 1 10 and 60 after this we'll create the final array of size 7 and then sort these two arrays and place it back over here which will make it minus 40 minus 20 1 10 25 and 60 so this will be the final array that will turn up we will see this working through our code 
in our IDE. Here we have a driver main method in which we have some set of uh, inputs that uh, we were just trying to sort uh, in our previous slide. And then pass this input to a merge sort method where we'll do the entire merge sorting coding with arguments of start index and the length of the array. Then we have a print statement over here to iterate the input array and print each of its element so that we'll check whether the given input array has been sorted or not. So coming back to our merge sort method. Here we will write the actual logic of doing the merge sort. So firstly, we'll identify a, a boundary condition when we will not need to do any manipulation inside the merge sort. This will be a scenario when we call it, when we call the merge sort with one elemented array and it is already sorted. This scenario will come when if we have end minus start, this will be equal to one or less than two. In this case, we'll simply return from here. It means that we have only one item left or one item given from the input. Suppose if input is having only 25, so its start will be zero and end will be one. If it is having only one item, so by default, we know that it is already sorted and one minus zero will be one, which is less than two. So we don't need to sort it and we just return the same array from there. If we have more than L one element, as in this scenario, then we partition this array of input into two halves. So for that, we create a variable called mid. This will divide the array logically and save the extra spaces, the logical partitioning that uh, we just saw, we were just talking sometime back that to how the divide phase or split phase of the merge sort that saves the extra, the extra memory complexity. So we, we will have a mid variable. Okay. This will be our sum of start and end divided by two. This has given me the mid index of the given input array. Now perform partition on left and left partition till the array of one element is created. This we will do using recursion, that is calling a merge sort and giving it the input array and the start index of it will be the start and end index will be mid. So what it will do that it will keep on calling itself with the same input array, the start will be start the zeroth index and mid will be decremented each time till it comes back to the first element. This is how the left partitioning will start. Similarly, after the left partitioning is done and we have got the single elemented array in which this scenario will occur, we will start the splitting phase of the right partition, which will also take the input array. Its start index will be mid, and the end will go to the end of the given input array. In this way, firstly, it will split the left, complete left uh, branch of the array, and then it will start with the 
partitioning of the right branch of the array after both the branches have done their work we will land up at the leaf uh, node of the partition where every sub array formed from the given input array will have only one element and then we will perform our merge phase the merge phase that needs to take the input array because we will create uh, we will sort the leaf elements into a temporary and the temporary will again come back and get saved to the input array so we have given it the input array we will also pass in the start index the mid index and the end index as we can see that the merging of the leaf uh, one item element item array will start from the right because this is the last of the uh, recursion and because of recursion uh, this will be the last one to come back to the merge so let's create this method we have got it over here so given a boundary condition that uh, if the left and right partition are to be sorted then the last element in the left partition should be less than or equal to the first element in the right partition let's write it down to make it more clear that if input of mid minus 1 is less than or equals to input of mid if this happens it will mean that the two arrays are already sorted imagine a scenario where we are getting i will write it somewhere here we are getting two arrays one is having element 2 and another is having element 4 if the sorry yeah so here the mid index is 1 start is 0 and end will also be 1 so we'll see that the input of mid which is 4 is greater than the input at mid minus 1 so we saw that this array is already sorted so we don't need to do anything and since it is already part of this input array which which uh, which uh, places it into the main array then we don't need to do anything neither any merging or sorting but in case if we have the otherwise if we have instead of 2 we have 20 then we got to sort it and merge it so if the partitions are not sorted then we create few variables to store the store few values for our merging the first will be int i let's start save the start index in that int j we'll have the end then we'll create one variable called m index this will initialize with zero this variable keeps track of where we are in the temp array while doing the copy in input array then we'll create our temporary over here and uh, sometime back we just discussed that it should be having size enough to accommodate both the arrays so it will be end minus start 
this will give it room enough to accommodate the items from the left and both right uh, side of the arrays then we step through the left and right arrays and compare whatever is at index i in the left array with whatever is at index j in the right array and then write the smaller of these two in the temp array at the temp index location this we will do using a while loop that to, we have to give a condition that uh, it will be run this while till i is less than mid and j is less than n here if i is equals to mid that means we have done the traversing of the left partition of the array and if j is equals to 1 j is equals to n that means that we have done the traversing of the right side and we do the either side of the arrays that if either of the arrays are done traversing of their elements then we just come out of this loop and whatever is left behind in the leftover array then we just copy it back to the input array so firstly before copying let's put it uh, let's do the sorting and put it in the temp array so till this loop will be running we'll have the temp index temp uh, in the temp array we have to keep a track of the elements till they are sorted so we'll do a temp plus plus is equals input if input of i is less than or equals to input of j then put index of i input to temp index or put index of j with this we will be done placing the doing the sorting and placing it into the temp array if either of the conditions of the array are satisfied we want to drop here over here we want to drop out of the loop then we will handle the leftover from the arrays into the input which we will do the last step firstly we will copy the sorted elements directly into the input array value where they end up if the left array is traversed completely then we will have a value of mid minus i which will come down to zero so let's do the copy of the elements we'll do system dot array copy this will be the this will take the first source array so our first source array is input we are doing the left uh, whatever is left in the left partitioned array back into the input therefore the in, uh, start is input over here then to start from i because this is where we have ended then we'll have a index of start plus temp index we are taking start plus temp index because temp index is keeping track in the partitioned in the partitioned uh, left array and before this partitioned array we have a start of the start basically contains its parent uh, array which which had splitted it therefore start plus temp index post this the 
it takes the number of elements that needs to be moved from this input to the array okay uh, it's it needs a destination al also so uh, in this case our both source and de destination will be input and the last number of elements that needs to be put into the input is mid minus i this will give us the number of elements that needs to be copied from the left partition array to the input array and now since we are done with the left left uh, partition values to the input array we will not bother about the ones that are left in case if they are left in the right partition reason is because they will be already present in the right places in the main input array so only the left partition creates a disharmony and once it is done we will put back the temp array into the main input array so this will be system dot array will the start uh, source will be temp to start from zero index and put back into the main input array the start uh, i mean it will start from the start whatever start index we have given and will go and will take the number of items i mean these this this was the number of items that we have that we have sorted or done the comparison inside this while loop so over here this is the most uh, understandable code that uh, we should be focusing on and let's firstly try to run this and see if we get the right output it's compiling and okay we have a compilation error okay new int over here we missed it out okay now let's run it out yeah we have not got the right output let's check our code while checking this code okay so first thing that we have identified is that the j will compare itself till will start from the mid of the element and here we got to put i th index of input array into the temp array and then increment it by one let's run our code now and check the output so we see in the output console that we have got the right output thank you for watching the video please subscribe to code is good